Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm going to forego the Mad Science update on this one, because I don't really think it comes to that level. Uh, just kind of interesting story. Could my mysterious cosmic light flashes be powering alien spacecraft? And what they're talking about is fast radio bursts that have been... Uh, that have been seen a number of times. Bizarre flashes of cosmic light may actually be generated by advanced alien civilizations as a way to accelerate international interstellar spacecraft, sorry about that, to tremendous speeds, a new Saudi suggests. Astronomers have cataloged just 20 or so of these brief, super bright flashes, which are also which are known as fast radio bursts, since the first one was detected in 2007. Sip of coffee, hang on. Okay, FRBs seem to be coming from galaxies billions of light years away, but what's causing them remains a mystery. I'd say so. Fast radio bursts are exceedingly bright, given their short duration and origin at great distances, and we haven't Identify the possible natural source with any confidence. It says co author Evie Loeb, a theorist at Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, said in a statement Thursday, March 9th An artificial origin is worth contemplating and checking. One potential artificial origin, according to a new study, might be a gigantic radio transmitter built by intelligent aliens. So, Love and lead author Manas Lingam of Harvard University investigated the feasibility of this possible explanation. Duo calculated that a Solar power transmitter could indeed beam FRB like signals across the cosmos, but it would require a sunlight collecting area t twice the size of Earth to generate necessary power. Oh, well, that's all. And huge amounts of energy involved wouldn't necessarily melt the structure as long as it was water cooled. Water cooled, really? So. Lingam and Loeb determine such a gigantic transmitter is technologically feasible, though beyond humanity's current capabilities. Why would aliens build such a structure? The most plausible explanation during the study team is to blast interstellar spacecraft to incredible speeds. These craft will be equipped with light sails, which harness momentum imparted by Photons, much as regular ships' sails, harness the wind. Humanity has demonstrated light sails in space, and technology is the backbone of break, Breakthrough Starshot, otherwise known as Project Starshot, a project that aims to send tiny robotic probes to nearby star systems. I wonder why they changed the name. Indeed, a transmitter tr capable of tr generating FRB-like signals could drive an interstellar spacecraft weighing one million tons or so. Lingham and Loeb calculated that's big enough to carry living passengers across the interstellar or even intergalactic distances. Yeah, right. Humanity would only catch fleeting glimpses of the leakage from these powerful Beams, which will be trained on spacecraft sail at all times, because the light source will be moving constantly with respect to the Earth, the researchers pointed out. Duo took things a bit further, assuming that E.T. is responsible for most FRBs, and taking into account the estimated number of potentially habitable planets of Milky Way, about 10 billion Lingham and Loeb, Calculated an upper limit for the number of advanced civilizations in our galaxy to be like our own 10,000. Lingham and Loeb acknowledged a speculative study of the 
nature of the study, they aren't claiming that FRBs are indeed caused by aliens. Rather, they're saying this hypothesis is worthy of consideration. Science isn't a matter of belief, it's a matter of evidence, Loeb said, saying what's likely at the time limits possibilities. It's worth pulling, putting ideas out there and letting the data be the judge. I agree with that. It's interesting, because uh, we're saying, well, there's the aliens are a little more powerful than us because they can do this, but they're still using solar cell technology. I can't have an issue with that, but uh, from what I understand, the amount of push would be like if you take a sheet of 8 by 10 paper, 8 and, eight and 11 and a half or whatever, and you let it rest on your palm, from what I understand, that's about how much force there would be when some laser protect propelling a spacecraft. Uh, that's what I heard once, at any rate. Uh, it would take a long time for it to... It might have been a different technology. Uh, uh, light particles don't have momentum, they have impulse. Ft equals mv. Of course, times time. It's interesting that, you know, this, you know, to have this open mind towards the possibility that these are alien in nature. I would have no idea, I'm not an astronomer, but it's good to know that at least some of our scientific community has an open mind towards such things. Thanks for watching, I'm Artifacts of Mars, have a nice day.